guys, what's up, it's Sachi. And Welcome to or back to my channel. For today's video, I have my long-awaited haul. This is my beginning of the new year haul. I don't know, I've been collecting stuff for so long and I literally promised this haul over a month ago and I've still been collecting things and just have been waiting to film it because I just wanted to have all the things ready in here and come in from the mail and just like getting everything that I wanted to show. So without further ado, subscribe if you're new and let's get straight into the haul. So as you can see, I am surrounded. I literally feel like I'm sitting inside of a closet. Like I don't even, I don't even know where to start. Should I start at the rack? Should I start at this? lovely pile i'm a little bit of a mess but it's okay um i have been shopping i've been so into fashion recently because ever since i kind of moved out of hawaii and went to la and new york that i just fell in love with fashion i've always been a super big fashion fan because you had it in magazines i loved watching videos everything but, but moving away has definitely pushed me into the, my love of fashion. I would say my style is basically vintage 80s, 90s, early 2000s with a bit of like 50s and 60s. I don't know, it's kind of all mixed in there. I just love expressing myself through what I'm wearing and I think it's so fun that in LA and New York you can show those sides of you and you can just like wear whatever you want. I think I'm gonna start with this stuff since it's like right here. Uh, this is all my brandy stuff. You guys know I love brandy so much, like they're my second family like I love them so much I shoot for them all the time and they're just great. So you can go to the Brandy website and shop these things and you'll shop me in them. So the first top from Brandy is actually this one. It is like a rib top with buttons all down the middle and I also got this bralette if you can see through it's a little bit of lace it's adorable. I love this rib style cropped perfect to wear with leggings or whatever you're feeling. Another perfect soft crop top I got from Brandy is this white one. It's perfect for when I have to go to castings to wear with really cool looking pants or just to pair with a pair of skinny jeans or boyfriend jeans to have like a simple casual outfit. You could go anywhere with this. Like you could literally layer this, you could wear it by itself. It's a perfect staple top. And that's like, that's why I love Brandy. Brandy is like where I get all of my soft staple pieces like their stuff is so soft i literally live in crop tops so it's like a crop top like this or this or the few other ones that i'm going to be showing you and high-waisted pants so pants skirts or shorts another really cute crop top from brandy is this black one it's ribbed i've been really into like the whole ribbed thing next from brandy i have this pink Floyd little band tee. Also very soft. I love layering band tees with like striped shirts under them to give that more like 90s vibe or turtlenecks or something for fall and winter. And then I'll also just, I'll wear these year round. This is kind of like what I wear when I'm home. I just wear this in like jean shorts like every single day. Next from Brandy is this big oversized hoodie. I live in hoodies, um, I go to the gym in hoodies, I get groceries in hoodies, I go out to meet my friends in hoodies. Anytime that I'm just like leaving the house, I always have a hoodie. And I love oversized hoodies, especially this one is really, really cute because it's just like black and you're like, cool, I'm cool. But then it also has the LA detailing in the very LA font. It's like that old English type of font and it's red. Red is my favorite color currently. Um, and it also says made in Los Angeles on the back, which I think is super cute, kind of trendy if you're like into that whole LA vibe. I think it's just perfect. Again, extremely soft on the inside, oversized. Next is this turtleneck. It's like different size ribs and then it's soft, super long arms. Thank God they have long arms at Brandy because my arms are so long. Most long sleeve things like literally come up to here on me. So I've been loving wearing turtlenecks in the winter with like my jeans and then I'll like either layer another band tee over this or I don't know, wear a sweater over it. I don't know, I think it's really cute when you have a little collar popping out of the top. So that's my first turtleneck. Another turtleneck, this one. Oh my God, you guys, I cannot even express how soft this is. It is like a cloud. This one is also ribbed. It has like that stretchy effect. It's a little bit like heavier, so you like feel the good quality of it. It's really soft. Turtle of the neck. Turtle. Next is this also ribbed, cute little crop top, striped. You can wear it off the shoulder, you can wear it on the shoulder. Either way, very cute. 
very into it. I do believe that Brandy has like all the perfect staples, but I also think they have some really cute fun pieces like these pants. Oh my God. I find these adorable. They're corduroy ribs red, high-waisted, skinny, adorable. Absolutely love these. I just, and they're soft. Oh guys, I have an obsession with ribbed, soft, stretchy, comfortable clothes. Anyways, I got these because I thought it would be fun to wear like a plain top with red pants. I never like had cool pants until like I moved out and I don't know, people in Hawaii, we literally just live in bikinis. Like that's all we wear. That's all we wear. This next top is this loud she top. The ribbing is kind of like that old vintage vibe. I don't know, kind of reminds me a little bit of a grandmother. Totally into it though. One of my favorite things are these pants. These pants make your legs look so long. I wear these, I look so tall. Like people are like, whoa, you're so tall. I'm like, nope, it's just the fact that I'm wearing these pants and platform shoes. I love platform shoes. Um, <laughs> they give you the height without like anyone really knowing unless they're really looking at your feet. Uh, anyways, back to the pants. The pants are what's important here. You know those days when you need to wear pants because it's cold, but you don't want to wear jeans because they're too uncomfortable, these got your back. Next, I have this New York sweater. Very, very cute. Has the little little American flag detailing on the arm. If I don't feel like wearing a hoodie, I'll just wear these crew neck tops. Oh, this makes me so excited to make out. The last two things I have from Brandy are these sweatpants. I picked up a green pair because green is my favorite color to wear because of my green eyes. And I also got this navy pair that says Malibu because I don't know, I'm a little bit cheesy sometimes. I go with the little New York Malibu, like, what can I say? They're comfortable. All right, so that's what I got from Brandy. Clearly I am very much obsessed. I'm gonna have the links to all of the clothing down below so it's easy for you guys if you guys wanna pick it up. Let's do Urban Outfitters. The famous sweatshirt, and by famous, I mean a picture of me in this probably got the most likes I've ever got on Instagram, and you guys were freaking out, asking me where you guys could pick this up. This beautiful little sweatshirt is from Tommy, obviously, but it, uh, it's sold at Urban Outfitters. Next from Urban is this little off-the-shoulder sweater. It has different textures. It's super soft, super adorable. I really like how it's different from other sweaters. It does go off the shoulder, shows off your clavicle area good for winter i'm gonna have to bring all of this stuff back to new york which is gonna be really hard to pack but gotta love it last clothing item from urban is this bralette it's purple velvet and oh my goodness it's just everything it fits super well it's super soft i think it'd be super cute to wear with like white where you could see the purple velvet through it been loving like a little bit more like cute bralettes that you can kind of show off. next up we have pink and i got these leggings and I love these leggings i think they're super cool with the different cutouts the different colors and shapes and i like how it says pink right on the bottom of the leg super comfortable to work out in they also have these sneaky little pockets on the side which i think is super cool i also picked up like 50 pairs of underwear from pink and by 50 i mean like 10 but uh but i'll show you a few of them because i just find them so cute like these are my my two favorite that I got red and my Christmas undies. Ooh, okay, so this I got from an exclusive. You guys have been asking where the heck I got this because a lot of these pieces I have worn in my Instagram photos already. So this is my an exclusive sweater, super soft. I love how like kind of chunky and heavy it is. It goes with everything. It swoops and shows off your clavicle and they're very much a winter staple for me. Next up, I got this at the flea market, I believe it was. Flea market, what is that called? Trading Post, oh, Trading Post. Melrose Trading Post in Los Angeles. It is a Nike vintage windbreaker. I thought, again, the cool cutouts, the different color, very vintage-y. Definitely worn by someone multiple times, but I just thought it was so freaking cool to like wear with either like high-waisted mom jeans or I don't know. I just thought it was really cool. Next thing that I also got from the Melrose Trading Post was this perfect pair of black Levi mom jeans. I have been looking for a pair like this that are like skinny legged, but like still oversized for so long. And they literally have a little tent where you can try them on with like this big like towel skirt type thing over you. And I literally tried on so many pairs and I finally found the perfect one. You always need a pair of like perfect jeans that you feel confident in. Next up, we have Princess Polly. This is the first time I've ordered from Princess Polly. I'm kind of impressed 
kind of not. The first thing I picked up is this very, very cute, what I thought would be very cute, little red summery dress with a cutout in the front. And I decided to wear it on Christmas Eve to my lovely little dinner party. And uh, this happened. So cute. So either I need to take it back or sew it back. But I mean, it's really cute. It's just very, very cheaply made. Next from Princess Polly is this dress. This is a pink dress that has little gold stars on it. And um, I think it's really cute. It is a little bit big on me, so I'm not sure to get it tailored or what. I thought it was cute maybe to wear it to like a party or something, maybe to an event. Next up is this dress from Princess Polly. It's so cute. This is like the thing that I really feel like I scored on. I, lo I love the blue dots. I love how there's layers of fabric. Love this dress. I think it's so cute. Ring just flew off. Next up is this jacket. I wore it in one of my videos. The jacket is actually my mom's vintage Levi jacket. So maybe I can find one and link one. But um, what I really wanted to show you guys were the cute little pin details that I put on that are from Brandy. I don't know. I feel like these just give the jacket so much more character. Aspen one really resonates with me because I was born in Aspen. Aspen is my favorite place probably on earth. Honey, I just think it was really cute. And these little flags and the jacket is vintage to Levi, but um, maybe I can find one online. Next up we have Bershka and Bershka, a Spanish brand that I hadn't heard of until this fall when I was in New York and they had a big opening and they invited me to go to the opening and I was like, oh, this is actually really cute. They have super cute stuff. So I picked out a few things. I got this little fluffy sweater with red striped detailing. There's something about red and light pink that I've been loving together. I think it's probably because of Glossier. Yeah. It's because of Glossier. Talk about soft. This, this is soft. Next from Bershka, can't even show it on camera because it's so big, is this big winter coat with fake fur detailing on the hood. And um, it's gonna be perfect and it's gonna save me when I go back to New York. I love how long it is and how it fits onto one of my absolute favorite brands right now, IMGA. You guys have probably heard of this brand so much because it's all over Instagram. Every single model and celebrity is wearing it and I was like, I gotta hop on this bandwagon because these pants and tops and everything are just adorable. I picked up two pairs of their pants. The first pair I actually stole from Olivia because uh, they were too big on her and they fit me so I was like, skirt. Um, these are, I believe they're called the Cobain pants. They're just the oversized balloon type of trouser that tapers at the bottom cool, with a very cool chain detailing. They make every outfit look so cool. They literally make you look like you're such a badass chick. I don't even know. I don't even know, but I love these pants. They fit me so well and I just, I love them. They're for very long legs. So if you have long legs, hit these up. Next up from is this pleather pair of pants. These are so rad. Like, look at this detailing in the front. It's got the lace up, makes you look so sexy and badass. The zipper pockets in the front. They're not real pockets, that makes me a little upset. I love how they're shiny, but not like too shiny to like the point of like, those are so fake, you know? It's like still, it's a good mix between the two. Lastly from IMGA is this little white top. I promise you guys this looks really good on. It just looks super wrinkled because I wore it and I put it in the dryer, which I probably should not have done. But it's really cute, it's just white with a square neckline, which I find extremely flattering with the button details and the little points down at the bottom. It's very cute, perfect for castings. Like casting outfits are literally like high-waisted pants with a very cute statement top or something to still show your style, but you still want to like show off your body. So um, these things are perfect. Okay, let's go into accessories. Glasses wise, I got these from the Melrose Trading Post. They're cute, they, they pulled together every single outfit. These and, wait for it, these are the Adam Selman with Le Specs and these are my everything. I cannot believe I was able to get my hands on these. These make me feel so cool. Like I don't know why, I put these on and I'm like, why am I so cool? I really like these, I just think they're super cute and just make you look like, hi I'm cute. Like, I don't know, I just love when you put something on and you just makes you feel confident, you know? And these just make me, just make me feel confident. Next up, accessories wise, I have two hats. I have been obsessed with these hats. I, th I think they call them like bigger boy or sailor type hat. I got this one at Urban Outfitters. Goes with my brown hair. I still wear it with black clothes. I know people like are like, don't wear black and brown. I'm like, it's my life. I also picked up the classic black one. This one's a little bit small for me. 
still very, very cute. These also very much so bring every single outfit together. This little beanie I also got from Brandy Melville. Very cute, very cute color, very practical for winter. A little bit dorky, not gonna lie. <laughs> Next accessory is this Urban Outfitters belt. Tell me that doesn't give you Gucci vibes. It gave me Gucci vibes right when I walked past it and I was like, I need that belt. I want a Gucci belt. This is actually like a large or something, so I'm gonna have to poke some holes into it, but I thought it was really cool. The next belt I got is like the mini version of that. I picked this one up on Princess Polly. This one is gold and also has like the double loop type of effect going on there. Next accessory is this little red tiny backpack that I got from Brandy Melville. This is so cute, look at it. It's so tiny, it literally fits my vlog camera, my wallet, and my phone, and that's my whole life in a bag. So it's perfect and um, I don't know, I just found it so cute, I was just like, I need to get that. Well actually Olivia got it first and I was like, I'm gonna go buy that. <laughs> Last but not least, let me show you the new shoes that I got. So I've been obsessed with sneakers and the first pair I got are these Fila Originals. I feel like Fila, I feel like Fila is making a comeback. These are so 80s and 90s classic tennis type of shoe. They go with everything. They work, they work it, work it. Oh my God, I'm so excited to show you guys these. I could cry. These are my absolute favorite shoes I've ever owned. These are the Fenty Puma Creepers, the platform ones. My boyfriend actually got me these for Christmas and I basically died. I've been wanting these forever and he got them and I'm just, I could not be happier. Simply could not be happier. They are so cute and they go with everything because they're tan. I'm gonna wear these so much when I go back to LA and New York, like next level. The last pair of shoes that I've gotten recently are <laughs> these running shoes. These are Hoka's. They are the most comfortable running shoe I have ever worn in my entire life, even though I look like it's such a dork with this huge platform on, but I honestly think they're kind of cute. Like I would wear them with a cute outfit. Like I would wear them as street shoes Maybe I'm crazy, but um, I just find them adorable and so comfortable for working out, like the best running shoes. I used to have knee pain when I ran, never again with these. Next up for jewelry, I got a few necklaces. This one I got from Brandy Melville. It has a little crystal detailing and it's perfect for layering. This little C necklace I got for myself when I was in New York and I hadn't seen Conan in like forever. And um, I just thought it was so cute to wear a little C around my neck and it's just so dainty and perfect for everyday wear. It was the first real gold necklace that I've ever bought myself. Bought it at a little trading post in New York. This lariat choker I got from Pashi Bella. It's made here locally in Hawaii by my friend Talia and I've been friends with her forever. I really wanted to do a little bar necklace of me and Conan's anniversary. I got him a silver necklace with the same little bar pendant on it with a date on it and I just, I don't know, I thought it was so cute and she did it for me custom. I love her stuff. It's amazing. I'm gonna put her link down below for sure. Last but certainly not least, I got this one piece from Colborn and oh my god, does it make you look so sexy. Black with these little dainty, with gold little hoops and the long straps in the back. And it makes your back look so beautiful. So I'm really, really excited to wear this. All right guys, so that's it for my haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing the try-ons. I will have all of the products that I can find linked down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, everything. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.